The only real hope and change you'll ever get is from God. It's going to come from the Lord or it's not going to come at all. It's going to come when you admit that you can't do it and that you've got to have His help. Why America began in the first place getting away from that big government entity that ruled everything and the faith. Do you not know the kings used to tell you how to believe? That's happening again. We have a democracy, yes. This is supposed to be a republic, yes. But I'm telling you now, it's something else and you can't even see it. They tell you how to worship. It will manifest everything, every element of a dictatorship exists right here and now. It doesn't matter what side it comes from. Your flesh can fight the idea that your party is down the commode. It is. So stop partying and get serious. Be a child of the kingdom. The parties have fallen apart and they know it. In this dictatorship, if one side wins, the other side turns its back. Have you noticed? The Democrats win, Republicans turn their back. The Republicans win, the Democrats turn their back. You know what that's called? God said a house divided against itself shall not stand. And if you're a part of that, if your heart is with that, you will fall with the house. What is a person's ultimate goal as an American? You go out, you get educated, you make money, but what is your goal? I hope it's not just to make money so you can buy food and buy clothes and buy toys. Isn't that what people do? Let me simplify it for you. People grow up to get a specific job. They get that job and they make something called money. They get the money to do what? To put a roof over their heads, to get transportation, to put clothes on their backs, food in their mouths, and play with toys. I'm telling you, that's it. Listen to what I said. You go work for somebody else or work for yourself, but all of us to get the greenbacks. You get the greenbacks. You can have your tent, your clothing. You have a vehicle, your little buggy, and you have toys to play with, like blocks. That's what money is for. Are you kidding? And people think that's life. They think that's it. What is that? If you look at it, what in the world is that? If you take a house, some people have big tents and some people have small tents. Some people have a lot of food, some people have a little food. Some people have nice animal skins and some people don't. But can you see what people are doing? They're killing themselves for those few elements. And what are they doing to their souls? Can you see what the Lord was speaking about? See, when you're programmed, you don't even think of things like that, do you? But all of a sudden, you start to simplify it. And you say, my Lord, what, what have we been doing sleeping this entire time? No wonder the ten virgins were sleeping. And what else has the person done besides that? I'll tell you what they've done. People have done everything to get the job. They have, and they scrutinize those who can't get the job. So pride steps in. They step on people. They curse people out. So they defile themselves to get the job, which, by the way, a job is an avenue to really gain the power. The power is the money. People like that. They like the money because money empowers you to be able to purchase both people and things. That's what the money does. It's a promise that you can have things. In the world, that's what money does. And people do anything to get the money because they want to be empowered. Once you're empowered, then what do you do? You go and get your big tent, your big meal, your big sheepskin, and your big piece of transportation, which is a cart, an automated cart. And you drive back and forth to get more of the green to do the same old thing year after year after year after year after year and you corrupt yourself because vanity steps in all the devices all these vices i should say of that repetitious death cycle step in to destroy the soul of a man or a woman when does it break because people work this way and then they get old and then they teach their children and you work hard and get all the money you can get and get you a nice house and a car or whatever they have for transportation and eat the best of food and then they die and their kids they grow up doing the same thing and they have built a society around that idea look at it and then people say well i can do anything i want to do all you can do is go out and see the court jester that's entertainment then if you're educated you're educated in how to make that process work for more people or for less people you're stuck in a system a system that will educate you to work in the system a system people cannot see a system with a promise and because you see proof that somebody else made it you believe in that promise and you kill yourself to obtain it and you lose yourself in the process that is a system and everything is geared around the system and all philosophy 
is purposed for that system and nothing will overstep the system. Your faith will not have authority over the system. The system is put above all things, even above God Almighty. You don't believe that, do you? Go into court, wrong somebody, and they say, well, can you just forgive me like the Bible says and watch what happens to you? How do you change it? How do you wake up to this and even say you're alive? Is that not death? Doing the same thing over and over until you die. That's not progress. No, it's not progress at all. Because the more technical we become, the more powerful we become, the faster the system works. It's so fast right now. If not for this pandemic, the suicide rate would have tripled. People kill themselves when they cannot keep up. They can't keep up with the system. All serves the system. Notice also in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boastful, proud, blasphemous. It takes the grace of God to change us, folks. How can you be saved if you're not willing to repent? And the Lord Jesus Christ said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish.